I'm gonna walk you through our creative color grading pack called Vintage Brooklyn. We've created a bunch of 3D LUT profiles that are inspired by the boho fashion styles coming out of the East Coast in the 1970s. This relies heavily on split tones. We're doing a wide variety of those. We're preserving warm skin tones and we're really going for that fashion feel. Once again, these profiles live equally in Adobe Camera Raw and Lightroom. So I'm gonna take a look at Vintage Brooklyn using the Lightroom workflow. So my first image here, I'm gonna open and develop. Might be a little bright, but I'm gonna go directly into my looks and start exploring. I've got my panel set up like this. It's a little bit simplified. Yours might look a little different, but you'll see I've got my RGG Vintage Brooklyn pack loaded up right here and I'm gonna get right into it. Glendale is looking amazing. I love this look, but I'm gonna keep going through and see what we've got. Brownsville and Williamsburg, both adding a lot of warmth and creamy tones to the image. Williamsburg's a little bit higher contrast. Flatbush is cool, bringing some rosy stuff in. Cypress Hills, a little bit more green. Crown Heights, seeing similarities to Flatbush, but a little bit cooler. Red Hook, a lot more yellow into the highlights. Bushwick is really pushing the yellows up. Greenpoint, green. Kensington, nice muted, but warmth across the entire range. I immediately responded to Glendale. It's really crunching the blacks. It's adding some contrast and compared to the original, pushing the coolness of the neutrals in her outfit more to a purple, which is complementing the gold in her jewelry. I love what it's doing in her skin. Notice it's reducing the red in the lips in a way that I really like. It's increasing the smokiness of her makeup. I love that. The wrap that she's wearing up here, it's plugging that up a bit, which is happening in a good way. And even increasing some of the luster in the hair. It's reducing some of the hues that were down here and desaturating the bench, also in a great way. So overall, I really like this. Now, I don't think this look is overstated at all. In fact, I think it could use a little bit more. I'd like to see what it looks like if I amp it up a bit. And this is the great thing about the amount slider. Most people are using it to decrease the look, but you can also go the other direction and you can amp up the volume. So I'm gonna crank it up to about 140. That's awesome. It's crunching the blacks even more, just amping up the overall punch of this look. The only thing that I'm really not liking about this look is that I'm losing some of the shape and the skin tones here. But this is a beautiful thing about working in Lightroom using the raw controls in Lightroom is that I can go in and retrieve the highlight information and bring that back with a single slider. Pretty amazing. That information's in there just because we can't see it doesn't mean we can't retrieve it from the raw information. That's what I love about working in this way. I'm gonna show you what these looks do on an image that's completely different. Glendale, which was the winner before, is still doing some cool stuff in here. Brownsville, interesting. Williamsburg, similar to Brownsville, but cranking up the contrast. Flatbush is interesting. It's really flattening out a lot of the blacks, really lifting those up. Cypress Hills, really leveraging the green back there. Crown Heights, nice going into more of a purple cast. Wow, Red Hook's nice. I, I like how warm that is. That's really clipping down the greens in there and pushing that more towards a warm tone. Now Bushwick is awesome. I love how it took that green in the background and changed that completely to gold. Greenpoint, once again, really cranking up the greens in Kensington, going to a really highly saturated dark blue. But I like Bushwick. All the golds in here are so brilliant. These areas of the lamp are actually going purple and overall we're creating a pretty strong complementary color harmony. It's hitting the skin, but I'm okay with that. It's doing nice things. Some really cool burnt umber going on on the couch here, but you can see how it's taking a lot of divergent hues. 
and bringing them together to really organize the color harmony into a strong complementary situation. It's running a little hot right now and I'm just gonna drag the amount down. Just tones everything down a bit and now I've got it to a place where I think that's a totally legit treatment for an image that was already awesome. This is taking it to a completely different place. All these different looks are so fantastic because they allow you to see possibilities that you might not have even thought of. So you can see how I was able to use these on two completely different images. One that was really, really simple in terms of color and one that was really, really complicated and still get really great results. That was a look at Vintage Brooklyn using the Lightroom workflow, and I can't wait to see what you do with it.